It is that time of the year when we get the next year's flagship chipsets from brands like Qualcomm and MediaTek. Qualcomm will launch its Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in a couple of days because the Snapdragon Summit is starting from October 24th. And as we know, Qualcomm usually launches its next generation flagship chipset at this event. As for MediaTek, there is no announcement from the company yet, but it should be happening pretty soon because MediaTek also launches its next flagship chipset around the same time as Qualcomm. The next flagship SoC by MediaTek is named the Dimensity 9300 and today the N22 benchmark score of this chipset was revealed and this chipset has shattered all the previous records for the N22 score. On N22 benchmark, the Dimensity 9300 scores over 2 million points which is the first for any smartphone chipset. Now, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is also reported to have an N22 score of over 2 million points but for now, there is no N22 benchmark report of that SoC. Anyways, coming back to the Dimensity 9300, we can see the specifications mentioned as well. So while the CPU still has 8 cores, the core configuration is quite interesting this time. The Dimensity 9300 has 4 Cortex-X4 cores and 4 Cortex-A720 cores. This means the CPU has all the performance centric cores only and so the focus this time is to get as much performance as possible. Now this also means more heat. And this also raises the question of how efficient this chipset is. But right now we cannot say anything because only the real world reviews will be able to tell that. Another thing to note is that the GPU is the Immortalis G720 which offers up to 20% performance improvement over the G715 inside the Dimensity 9200 and 9200 Plus. This is also one of the most efficient ARM GPUs with up to 40% less memory bandwidth usage and an average of 15% more performance per watt compared to G715. So those are some big numbers out there. Finally, as for the manufacturing process, the Dimensity 9300 is reportedly still built on the 4 nanometer TSMC N4P process, the same as the Dimensity 9200. And the reason for not going for a 3 nanometer process is said to be the lack of supply because Apple has reportedly bought the TSMC's entire supply of 3 nanometer chipsets. Anyways, that is all about this video and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.